I personally, one of the things that actually put me off this dating stuff and everything, of course, besides the healing, because one of the main reasons as to why I stopped dating, dating back in the years was to heal myself, okay? I needed to heal myself. There was a lot of, a lot, a lot of stuff to heal. The moment I discovered who that greater narcissist was, and where they came from all of a sudden, out of the blue. It looked like a miracle, you know? And a lot of times when you run into these entities, it is going to be too good to be true. You know, you run into this very, very nice, gorgeous woman, you know, very nice, handsome man. It's going to feel like they, all of a sudden God has answered your prayers. The man has appeared, your answers have been answered, uh, your prayers have been answered, and they come into your life down the road you're going to realize the reason as to why you have to remain single so the moment i discovered that witch of that greater narcissist i was like okay now let me put some gates here there's no more dating let me let, let me forget about this dating i could not explain to you guys the energy of that individual I remember walking back in the days, it's a couple of years, somewhere down there. I ran into one individual. This individual, hello, hello, you know, we talked a little bit. What is your name? My name is this and my name is that, okay? We went separate ways. And I've not seen that individual for so many years, uh, for so many months. Then I think it was around six months, seven months later. That individual popped up again. Same clothes, same shoes, same style. Hello, hello. You okay? This, this, this. Now, this individual at that time, they had forgotten that. We met each other before, okay? A couple of months ago. What's your name? They told me a different name. This time it was a different name, okay? Now, let me tell you something about chosen people. Chosen people, you are targeted individuals. The moment you understand what it means to be a targeted individual, you are going to start thinking twice about the people that you bring into your lives. Targeted individual means that you are targeted for specific reasons. Not everybody is targeted. Have you ever seen a narcissist targeting another narcissist? And they're in a relationship, all of a sudden they're in love, you know, they got married, they're staying around each other for so long, they don't target each other. You are targeted because of your light. A lot of times you're going to be targeted by these entities. Joseph ones. let me tell you something. I've told you as spiritual beings having a human experience. Targeted individuals, you are always going to be targeted by very low vibrational entities. You are going to be targeted by low vibrational. So you are going to be forced, chosen ones, to learn the art of protecting your energy. These people, they come at you because they know who you are. They can feel your energy from a distance. They can see your shine from a distance. So when they are coming in, they are coming in to attack you spiritually. It's why you see a lot of times chosen people talk about spiritual attacks. You know, these attacks, it feels like these attacks cannot stop. When you went to school, you were targeted. When you went to your church, you were targeted. When you went to your job, you were targeted. How can you explain these targets? Where are they coming from? Who is targeting you and why are they targeting you? You in particular, you know? It is not everybody is a targeted individual. Some people are targeted, some people are not, like I've told you. But the people that are targeting you, they are the people who are vibrating very low, okay? They don't have any business with you. So those people come in to attack you for various reasons. They attack you because of your mission. They attack you because of your destiny. The very first thing when they, what they do when they come into your lives, they're going to destroy your destiny. 
it is why you start moving without purpose you start you start you start you stop moving with purpose all of a sudden you've decided to fall off of your path you're getting different ideas in your head you woke up without motivation nothing you can do can succeed your businesses are crumbling your health is failing that is because you're being targeted by these entities it is not everybody that you meet is supposed to stay around it's not everybody that you meet is supposed to be with you chosen ones you need to have the spirit of discernment you need to learn people that are coming in you need to learn the people and understand the people that want to be with you post awakening i got aware of um, of this kind of energies okay the moment i awakened and i started working on myself i started becoming aware of these entities because i would almost run into these individuals everywhere i, I even remember doing a video one time i think it was somewhere up there I did a video, and I've told you the encounter you guys have had, uh, uh, the, uh, the encounter which I had when I was in the train, back in the days when I was traveling, I was on the train traveling somewhere. I had an encounter with one of those entities. Now for me, the more I kept on running into these individuals is when I started to understand that those individuals, they are everywhere. As a matter of fact, they have always been here. The difference is that we was not aware of them, you know. We wasn't aware of them. Many of us, we married them, we had kids with them, we had, uh, you know, we worked with them, we parted with them. But sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have been dealing with entities from different dimensions, okay? How does the chosen one know that you're dealing with this kind of individuals? If you walk away from this kind of individuals and you hear stories like maybe one or two weeks that person passed away. Maybe after some three days they disappeared. Even sometimes the neighbors that were in that place, they don't know where the person disappeared. All of a sudden you've been there for a couple of years. You've just broken up two months ago, three months ago, and the person has vanished. There's nobody sees them, nobody knows where they went. They are not, they are, they are not seen, they are not on the scene. They have disappeared. Or sometimes they tell you stories like they have passed away, you know? Or oh, that person, they had a car accident, something happened this and that, something happened that. All of a sudden, they are no longer in operation. Those kind of individuals, they are on assignments. It doesn't always necessarily mean that they are going to pass the, uh, pass the assignments, okay? Many of them, they can come and fail. Sometimes they may be dealing with very high vibrational beings, and they are going to fail on the assignments. But in any way that you want to look at it, they are appearing on assignments. And this is the incidents and situations you don't even expect. So... They are coming in from different dimensions, okay? They may not necessarily be coming, uh, be um, operating on this on this plane, on this 3D plane. They may have an energy from a different dimension, but they may actually manifest on this physical plane because there is people that are on this plane to carry out specific assignments. And our, our assignments are always going to be different, okay? So you may have your own assignment as a chosen one. You might have your own destiny. You might have purpose, things that you came here to do. But there's also entities that are also going to come in and counter that kind of destiny. Okay? So if you're the person who is the carrier of this destiny, you're the person who is, who, who is always going to be attacked and running into this kind of individuals. Because they need to do whatever it takes to make sure that you don't reach where you want to go. It is my appeal to other ones in this video that... You need to proceed with caution. Be very careful, chosen ones. Proceed with caution. Not everybody that comes into your life, 
they mean you well. It is not everybody that wants to say hi or wants to date you or wants to take you out on a date. It's not everybody that is supposed to be. Some people, even sometimes without them knowing it, they have been sent on missions. Whether they are going to pass or fail on that mission is going to depend on you. What are you allowing into your life? Who are you accepting, who are you accepting to come into your circle? Who do you want to sleep with in that time? It is where you are going to open these gates. Because you see, these entities can only gain access to you when you allow yourself and your energy to open up, when you open yourself up to these individuals, okay? You sit with them, you drink with them, you sleep with them, you marry them, you befriend them, whatever it is. That is how you allow them and you give them access to your energy. And I can promise you these individuals, the moment they show up and you open those doors for them, that is when the attacks are going to begin straight away. They are, they are, they are, I've told you, these are on assignments. These people, they are, these individuals, they are on assignments. The moment you have opened your door, and you open these gates and you allow these individuals in, they're going to go to work straight away. So it is the same thing which happened with the spiritual narcissist. They do not have anything. And ladies and gentlemen, when I'm telling you this thing, I mean it. They do not have any good intention for you. If you know that you're a chosen one, I can promise you, you open the doors to these kind of individuals, the moment, the moment they walk inside of your house, they're going to go to work. In a few weeks, you're going to realize the reason as to why you shouldn't have opened that door. It is going to become vividly clear as to what they came in, the reason as to why they came into your life. So, what am I saying in this video, ladies and gentlemen? Do not open the door for everybody, okay? Not everybody can come in. If you're the person who is not uh, comfortable with being alone, you know, you're not happy with, because you're so lonely, you want always somebody to be around there, you want, you know, you, know you, you always need somebody around you, then there's a very big chance, ladies and gentlemen, you may turn into this kind of individuals. It is only until you learn how to take your time. You cannot run into friendships and relationships before you have got the discernment that you need. Because if you do not have that discernment that you need, those guys are going to come in and I can promise you they are here and they are everywhere they may be there in the churches some of them can be in the, uh, in, the, in the place that you work it could be your boss it could be the place that you work some of you could run into them in the spas some of you could run into them in the clubs and especially those places where there's a lot of a lot of uh, you know, negative energy, the, you know, clubs, pubs, you know, those kind of discos, those kind of places, that's where they operate most of the times. So recently I've seen a confession. Unfortunately, you guys don't understand because it was a confession in my, in my uh, local language. So there was a guy who was explaining what used to happen in those pubs. And the guy said it very, very clearly. Actually, it has, it has been the motivation of this video. The guy said, a lot of these women you meet in those pubs, in the bars and pubs and stuff like that, a lot of those women, they are demons. The individual made it very clear, because this was a male prostitute, okay? This individual was a male prostitute, he used to operate in bars, in bars and clubs and stuff like that. People where they could, you know, go and fish for, you know, these sugar daddies and the, and the rich guys and people with money. The guy said it very clear in the video that not all the women you meet in those kind of pubs and clubs, they are genuine. Some of those, those, those women and even sometimes men, they are demons. They are not real people. They are not real people, ladies and gentlemen, they are demons. So you go out there, you intoxicate yourself, you know, you pick up this lady, you go home, you sleep with them, you don't even know what you're sleeping with in the first place. And before you know it, Everything about you is destroyed. Your family, your family is in pieces. Your business is in pieces. Your health is in pieces. You're starting to get out of these fibroids. You're starting to get out of these problems with your body organs. Everything shuts down. Chosen ones, you know who you are, okay? At this moment in time, I believe that you know who you are. Protect yourself. Understand that not everybody out there is for you. Know the ones that are for you. Know the ones to come in. Know the ones to stay away, okay? Build your discernment. 
it is the only way you're going to protect yourself because not everybody on this planet is human let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below you know that i do love and appreciate your support book a session you may donate or support my channel if you want to everything you need you will find it in the description below and until then i will catch you guys in my next one there's almost signing out much love and blessings peace